So uh, we want to install the software, of course, Macroom Reflect. You scroll down, free edition, download Macroom Reflect 7, free edition. Um, we have a little different ways, uh, different versions, and uh, if you uh, want to do some more advanced stuff, you can buy another one. We will use the free version in this little video because it's pretty basic. So just click Home Use Download and continue. Then save the file. Uh, when the file is saved, you go down in Downloads and run it. Uh, so here we have it. Shoes Edition, free like this then we click download it will download the file next accept terms next uh, we will skip registration for now you can do that if you like to and uh, you can choose here if you'd like to have a uh, desktop shortcut or not and install wait for the program to install And when we're done, we click Launch Now. And there we have it. Macroom Reflect is successfully installed. Alright, so a little middle step. I actually done everything already, but uh, uh, let's just uh, add this to the thing, because I did it myself, but I should tell you too. Alright, you want to defragment the disk before you clone it, just to be safe. So click Windows and write in Defragment. Here you, saw, you find it, the fragment, um, and then you have this here. You have your C drive, which is the one you wanna <coughs> defragment. Of course, this D drive is my old C drive because I already done it and it was successful. By the way, um, <coughs> spoiler. Uh, and then you just wanna click optimize, and uh, it's going to run an ana analysis. Uh, to see if it's fragmented and uh, then defragmented. It might take a few hours to do. Now, I just uh, defragment this and copied it over to this drive. Uh, so, um, we can let it run the analysis anyways. But anyways, if you defragment before you clone it over, um, you are going to be sure that the drive is optimized and ready. Alright, I can just uh, stop this because it's 0% fragmented anyways. <laughs> and that's that. Now, uh, proceed. Alright, now that we have our Macroom Reflect started up, uh, we can refresh here to see what hard drives we have connected. Uh, make sure you do not clone your uh, system you want to save onto a, uh, another hard drive where with the data you want to save because it will overwrite the data it will just reformat it and everything anyways I uh, pulled out all other um, USB hard drives or USB memories and stuff like that to decrease confusion and here we see uh, GPT disk 1 and we have GPT disk 2 and this is of course the disk I want to clone um, I'd recommend you to not uncheck stuff here because it might make the system not work um, I'm not 100% uh, sure what the FAT32 LBA is for something but uh, from what I can find it's um, probably stuff we want to have on today cloning thing and I mean the recovery 400 megabytes it's just as well to clone over everything so we highlight this disk we click clone this disk and here we select select the disk to clone to we only have this one there make sure you select the right one you don't want to write over any data you want to save all right we click next and next and we can check out here a little bit yeah looks good and we click finish do you want to uh, all right backup save options 
probably a good idea. All right. Now the cloning process has started and uh, it will take a long time because it's uh, like one terabyte of data. It's uh, very many files. So yeah, you'll need to let this run. This will take a long time, uh, probably a few hours. But if you only have like a few a little, a little hard drive you want to save of like I don't know 50 megabytes, 50 gigabytes or something, it will of course not just be a few minutes. And it also um, it also hangs on the read and write speed of the hard disks. Uh, I assume that the hard disk you're copying from is the slower one and that will of course uh, limit the speed of the transfer. In any case we will let it run and uh, then I will check back with you when this is copied over. Hang on. Alright, now it's completed. Took three hours, three and a half hour, but now it's done clone complete fantastic right so the cloning process was successful and what's basically done now is that we restart the computer and when we go into BIOS we select the new hard drive to be booted before the one that we use now and that will make it into the system disk indeed uh, remember that uh, under the time you have been uh, using the computer maybe when you were cloning these changes will not be present on the new copy of the disk so copy over the files manually that you uh, changed under the time that it was cloning so you are sure that you don't lose them anyways let's reboot the computer and go into BIOS and select the new disk all right then we select uh, startup the BIOS setup by clicking delete now the boot order can look a little bit um, different on different BIOSes on this BIOS we have uh, it on uh, BIOS features and we have have uh, boot option priorities and it's going to be boot option or boot order here you see p3 um, that's the old disk p0 that's the new disk uh, this one i believe is my um, usb so what you want to do is you select uh, p3 as boot option number two and then P0 is uh, on this BIOS automatically turned to boot option number one. Right, and then we can click right there, save and exit, save and exit setup. All right, and now the computer will hopefully boot up on the new hard drive disk. We're well, just gonna see that we can actually log into Windows we got this little screen here, everything looks normal. And we can now log in. Just turned out my keyboard's dead, so we'll gotta replug it in to make it live again. Alright, it's a pretty good sign, however, that uh, this means that uh, it's actually booting from a new hard drive. That peripherals work a little bit weirdly. Okay, let's try again. And it's alive! It's alive! Yeah, so I think we uh, indeed made a nice success. Uh, this is uh, now our new cloned hard drive. Uh, I can see it, you know, the folder that I was working on on the desktop. It's uh, not there anymore. Of course, I copied it over manually into this little folder here. Uh, so that I can just move everything, move it all uh, to uh, the new system. Other than that, it should be the same. Um, if we look into, let's see here, here you can see uh, this, this current hard drive is now my new hard drive. Uh, however, because I cloned the hard drive, um, my, you know, I cloned it so it's equal size 
uh, to the old hard drive, which is now D. Uh, so that's a little bit funny. So basically, uh, we will go and open up the rest of the space. So basically, now uh, that we have uh, run the Mac Room Reflect, um, you see that uh, you know we have some allocated space here because we cloned a smaller disk to a larger one. Um, you can set this directly when you do a clone, but uh, it's actually pretty easy to just make it afterwards, probably more easy. So what you do is you click Windows key, X key, then you get the disk management. And then we load system information. We see here, unallocated. This is our new installed hard drive. Right click on this uh, C drive. Um, you can make new partitions. You can call this um, E and have other files on it, but I just want to extend my C drive. Um, so we're going to extend volume. We click next. And uh, next. And finish. Now the magic. Suddenly this is uh, now a larger drive. Yep, you can see we refresh it. Now the C has uh, a lot of gigabytes free and that's all you need to do. It's uh, easier than to do it in uh, Mac Room Reflect directly to be quite honest. So that's that. I hope this has helped you to get your hard drive nice and big and uh, new and fresh. This has been a pretty long and pretty thorough tutorial, but I did hope it helped you and it didn't leave anything unclear of what you need to do to copy over your entire system like this. Uh, oh, I should add, if you move to a smaller disk, you of course need to make sure that the data actually fits from the old disk. Uh, so you might need to, you know, um, move over a lot of files to external drives uh, when you do the cloning, so it fits. Uh, it should be pretty self-explanatory. But anyways, usually you move to a bigger disk size and this is how you do. Increase the size afterwards and you're good to go. Perfect. It works uh, really fine and man, I see an immense increase in speed. My old hard drive was uh, so slow. I'm a bit exalted just, you know, copying over folders and files and it's like... And I was like, whoa, whoa, I'm not used to this. It's, 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 um, I'm used to it taking ages and ages and it's like instant. It's really cool. It's really cool. I'm a little bit exalted over my new hard drive. Wow, that's that's nerdy. Anyways, this is Jimodism Total Nerdery Channel. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, leave a like. If you really like this video, you can support it by giving us a little tip and help support the channel in the future, or even become a patron. In any ways, I hope you enjoyed this a lot, and I'll see you around. This is your host, Jimodism Total Nerdery Channel, signing out.